Hi, this is Tina again and uh, today uh, we went to yard sales and uh, I bought another box of composition dolls. Here they are. What an amazing find. <laughs> uh, they're very old, um, they need uh, work to be done but a uh, um, couple of dolls are in pretty good condition. And uh, there's five of them. I'm very, very excited. I'm absolutely over the moon with those dolls because I love this kind of old dolls. And uh, uh, this is like a wonderful uh, surprise there. I didn't expect it. So first doll, um, I just fished out of the box. Um, they all come in the original condition. So again, they've got like uh, random clothes on. <laughs> uh, this one little doll. She's, uh, she, she's a horseman doll. She's got a, um, she's got a stamp on the back of her neck. Um, horseman. I don't know if you can see it. Okay. And um, I'm going to undress it. Uh, undress her because I haven't even looked at them properly. So I'm uh, really, really excited. This is like made my day. It's amazing. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take the clothes of those dolls so you guys can look with me. <laughs> at what I got today. Very excited, extremely excited. Now this has got some little... I mean this is obviously um, could be a vintage little bonnet. It doesn't belong to this doll. This is definitely not antique. Um, just random things put on that doll. Looks pretty new. I mean vintage probably but um, yeah, I'm just uh, the dress lovely little dress. Um, this dress actually fits this doll but I don't suppose it came with her because the dress looks too new to me. Um, let me just undress the doll first before I assess if there's anything else going on underneath but uh, so far so good. Um, yeah amazing day today absolutely amazing. I always look for this kind of dolls and uh, um, buying them like online a bit um, you can still buy them cheap, but uh, the problem is this day's shipping. Shipping is um, very expensive, so I was really, really glad that I got what I got. Um, and very, very cheap too. Very, very cheap. So those were more than affordable. Uh, now, the doll has closed off now. Oh, my goodness. Look at this panties, like from some sort of ballerina or some... Um, bright doll. <laughs> they don't belong on this doll. Okay, I'm just gonna get them off gently as I could. Slide them off those legs. This is composition and cloth, a horseman doll. Uh, there's some sort of initials, probably the honest initials, whoever owned that little doll. Um, she's got a little bit of tear in here on the cloth body, but that can be very easily patched up. Um, Legs are in very good condition, and so the arms, um, fingers are here, all of them, um, nothing is missing. Um, even the composition, I mean the paint work is still um, intact, wonderful. Um, the legs, those swing legs, <laughs> and um, the head's got a bit of wear, uh, the paint wear in here, but that can be easily, um, I'm going to repaint uh, the hair. Um, I, I do lots of painting because I'm an artist, so that's not going to be too difficult at all to do. Uh, the little uh, like uh, wires that I have to um, twist them somehow so they don't stick in anybody's finger. Um, there's a little tear on the arm and here and a cloth. Again, it's very cosmetic little things. Uh, she's got crazing, but very, very nice uh, other than that. Very nice. There's no damage to composition. Um, so she's gonna be just uh, uh, polished. Um, I would like to say thank you to Tammy Lasky at this point because uh, she gave me a wonderful tip. Um, uh, that lady's got lots of knowledge obviously and she knows what she's doing with her dolls. Uh, I'm gonna get some linseed oil, Tammy, and I'm gonna polish my dolls and try to preserve what I've got, what cannot be um, um, I mean, preserve it in a sense that I don't have to repaint them in any way. So thank you for your tip. I definitely will get some because I don't have any in the house at the moment. But um, that's my next step to do. Uh, now, next doll from that box today, I'm just laying this one here, uh, comes here. Oops. There we go. A little baby. I mean, she's not so little. She could be like 
18 inches, 17, 18 inches long. And again, she's wearing some clothes that doesn't belong to the doll. I'm trying to take this off. Vintage, a little bonnet here. Okay, just get this off her head. Oh, it's all stuck. There was something spilled in here. So obviously, wow. But even so, it protected the doll's head. It protected her. Um, she's got, again, composition and cloth. I'm just uh, trying to... Oh, she's got a tag attached. I'm just going to have a look at the tag in a minute. Just taking this little... It's like a coat or some, some sort of dress. Um, what I see here, this could be part of the original piece of clothes that she was wearing. Or maybe it was just a handmade. Somebody made this little top. It's quite faded with color. Oh goodness, the pantalons. This is vintage, this is not antique. Let me just slide them down. Oops, just don't want to crack too much. The dolls like this has to be have to be handled very carefully and gently because uh, I don't want any composition chipping away or paint chipping away. Okay, so cloth body, she's got uh, intact arms. Um, yeah, I don't think there's a chip into the, to this arm, no? To this tip. I think it's all here. Um, or maybe it is chipped, this little... Finger uh, missing? Yeah, finger. A little piece of the finger missing. Yeah, but that can be restored. This one's perfect. Mm -hmm. This one's perfect. Again, the paint, um, very nice. It's a little bit wear, obviously, that uh, the doll has been... Um, much played with. Played with. Um, oh, she's got some stump at the back, and she had a cryer that doesn't work. Let me just see. No. It's, there's something, something uh, signed. Heidi, somebody signed it, and this is something like a stamp, but I can't read it at the moment. So. Um, it says um, something dance studios. Mm hmm. Okay. Somebody put a stamp on there. Maybe it's part of the identification of the doll. I'm not sure, really. Mm -hmm. I'll check it out Something later. Something dance studio. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, she doesn't have obviously any other, like at the back of her neck. Um, no identification of any stamp. Or... Okay. But there's something stamped on her doll. On that doll. She's antique, obviously. I mean, uh, her eyes are tin eyes, from what I can see here. Uh, lovely doll. Lovely. Very minimal damage. I mean, just wear basically. This is antique condition doll. Got a little bit of paint chip here, tiny bit around here. Uh, beautiful doll, beautiful. She needs to be dressed, cleaned, obviously, preserved. So I'm going to lie her here. Okay. And I'm going to get the next one. Wow. Here we go. A baby. Big baby, too. <laughs> Whoops. Now, this baby doll. Oh. She's got sleepy eyes too, and they look to me like they are glass eyes because they got like a um, little wear to them. There's uh, very little wear. They, they, they got no uh, yellowing like I normally see on tin eyes of the dolls. They work perfectly. She's got teeth in there. That's what I can see. Yep. Mm -hmm. And um, composition head. Again, beautifully uh, intact, except maybe a couple of chips at the very top. Uh, the rest is intact. And uh, what I'm going to do, actually, I'm going to put this little doll in here on the floor. I need some. She's heavy, beefy doll, big. Um, and I'm going to undress her, take the clothes off, because um, she's got like a layers of clothes, <laughs> but. That's not a bad thing because they also protected the doll from elements, from whatever, wear, dust. So, oops. she's wearing something like a little, I don't know what it is, like a bib. Again, vintage. This one could be antique. Very, very, looks very old. Like a knitted um, cardigan. Okay, just... God knows how many years she wore this cardigan. When was the last time it was taken off? Okay, this is cardigan and the, I think it's a bonnet as well. I just undone both of them at the same time. Okay. 
set her up. Whoops. Yes, there's a bonnet. And the bonnet doesn't really go with this cardigan because the bonnet is white, cardigan is yellow. Oops. And uh, she's got booties, oh my goodness, there was another one somewhere. And it's very interesting, but I'm gonna find it because I've seen the other booty. But at the moment I'm not too worried, I just want to undress that baby so we could have a look at her body. Uh, wow, she's got rubber arms, it's a rubber, rubber. Okay, it's an interesting uh, combination, um, rubber and composition. Now let me just... Uh, it doesn't have that like a smell of any kind. It's just uh, you smell the age because maybe the dolls were stored in the attic somewhere, or could have been in the basement. Okay, let me just uh, undo those. Uh, so I have plenty of room to stretch that little dress over her head, or see if I can slide it down because I don't want to damage the doll. I'm not sure if I'm gonna put this back, this kind of clothes, but this looks old. It's a knitted dress, looks quite old as well. It's been on that doll probably for a long time. <laughs> okay, let me see. And she's got that off. Right. Just to loosen up a little bit, so it's easy. Again, cloth body, already see it. Okay, let me see if I can okay, slide it down. That would be the best deal to do with this doll. Um, I can tell she needs restuffing because she's very floppy. Her head goes like in all directions unless I support it. There you go. So I will probably put some... I've got some antique stuffing. The, um, I bought once a doll that was totally fallen apart and I couldn't save much. So the torso fallen apart and I put the stuffing away so I've got the old, old uh, stuffing that I can actually use in this kind of dolls. Um, it's nice and heavy, solid, okay. Oh dear, the feet are a little bit shrunken because uh, of the age. This is like a little curve uh, to it and they flattened at the top, but still intact. Uh, they're not ripped or anything. Let me just slide this dress totally off, this doll. Beautiful. There we go. Woo, hello baby. Hi. <laughs> now, what we see here, there's something written at the back, but then again, oops, I'm going to lay her on her belly, like this, and there's something stamped under there. Same stamp as the other. I don't, okay. can't really make it out very well. Mm -hmm. Maybe if somebody... Mm -hmm. Something dance stu studios. Say it sounds uh, same as the other doll. Yeah. Something Merrill Dance Studios. I don't okay. know. Okay. Okay. Because there's no other um, way. There's no nothing at the back of her neck. Nothing. All what I see here, she doesn't have cryo inside. She's got stuffed cloth body. Um, looks like uh, feels like rubber um, um, legs arms and composition head so I don't know much about her yeah she's she's got very very nice uh, condition on her head on her face beautiful absolutely beautiful baby doll beautiful slight wear of the paint on her lips I can see a little bit of crazing but that can be t easily taken care of uh, she even has this original shading here the, the little dark when she closes her eyes up there. Uh, so she's in a very good condition. Lovely doll. She doesn't fall apart or anything. Very, very happy with her. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do this. The dolls have to be cleaned. They're all in a condition as they came today to me. Oh, there's another booty on the floor. Never mind. <laughs> I'm not going to put it back on that doll, but... Uh, I found her something really cool when she's clear up and everything. Okay, let's put her in there. Next one, there's a couple of more, and um, everyone is bigger than the previous one for some reason. So this is a doll. Oh, look at that. Oh, gorgeous. Oh, she's got flirty eyes. Oh, my goodness. See the flirty eyes going sideways? You're in shadows. Oh, I'm sorry, honey. Here, let me see. Okay. Oh. 
Yeah. Yeah, that's better. See the flirty eyes looking this way? It's like she's got something on her mind. Then close the eyes and open and look in the other way. See that? The eyes moved from one side to another. They're moving sideways and those call flirty eyes. And those are made of glass. Um, it's something about antique um, glass eyes that they never fade. The color always stays the same. No matter how old the doll is, really. Um, they don't deteriorate. There's beautiful shine to them. I mean, this doll is in the condition that I got in the, in the box, but she looks pretty well preserved too. Uh, before I undress her, it looks like she's wearing her original outfit. A beautiful bonnet, uh, a little overcoat here. There's a dress underneath. I'm going to take the clothes off. So have a look uh, if there's any signs or any markings on her. Wow, this looks pretty good. Those legs. Beautiful legs. Um, nothing is smashed, nothing is chipped here. Oh, arms, the fingers. Gorgeous. This one's intact. This one's intact. This is the first time I'm looking at those dolls since we got them today. I uh, didn't have time to unpack them and anything. They're just coming straight from the box. So, wow. Let me just take the clothes off quickly. Because they have to be taken anyway. I need to wash them. Uh, this one's going to have back this clothes because it's obviously original. They fit her and they look really lovely. She's just like a tea rose color. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is the bonnet. And she's wearing a wig. Again, more hair, wig. Um, very nice. Just needs to be a little tidied up in the front, around the fringe and the sides. Beautiful. And look at that bonnet. Look at this bonnet, the way it's made. Oops, just put it all down. Um, it's got few holes. Those are age-related holes, obviously. Um, the doll is very old. Again, I, those dolls all dating back to 1920s. Um, um, 30s some of them are, 1920s, 30s, I love those baby baby dolls, oh my goodness, even even the the ribbons, I mean, it's all here, wow. So what I'm going to do, oh, it's got that uh, little safety pins, um, I need to undo them, let me just see, okay. Oops. Okay, I've got one, I'll just make sure I put it back so there's no accidents of put it back yeah. so they're safe now <laughs> all right now we're undressing the doll she's got dress underneath oh lovely with this little lace accent in here simple but nice uh, little dress okay let me just sit her up again she's floppy too she needs to be um maybe restuffed a little bit I'm just gonna take the arms out. Oh, what a gorgeous doll. Oh! <laughs> this is pure heaven to me. I call it pure heaven because um, I honestly didn't expect to find this uh, uh, today at all. Really. I didn't expect that. I always hope to find something like this, but it's rare. It doesn't happen very often. Okay, so this is there. And um, I just need to have a look what the fastening is. Oh, more safety pins at the back. But I I need to take them off as well. Oops. Okay, that's one. I cannot take the dress off unless I undo those. Okay. Whoops. There's something happening. It's so old that the, the fabric went right through. This is not uh, really... I think it's a little bit damaged, so... Oh, there's like a, a little tag in here. Okay, this is 1936 something. Horseman. It says a horseman doll. Oh, right. So the, 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 there we go. So we got a date. That is marvelous. Oh, wow. And there's another... Hmm. It says it's a 20 inch. Uh, I don't know. Something, something. How much somebody paid in 1975 for it? How much? They paid $20 in 1975. Oh my goodness, wow. And it said book $90. Well, I paid half 
for all of these dolls I mean, today. That's a big horse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and quite a big horse. Yeah. Very big. It's a huge doll. Beautiful, beautiful. She's composition, and for what I can see, she's in excellent condition. I mean, excellent. She needs to be tidied up. The clothes needs to be freshened up. I need to wash them, and um, so they look more presentable because uh, nobody touched those dolls for ages. They were not like in somebody's collection that they were displayed in the doll room. So obviously there is some, oops, like a storage mark on those dolls. They were stored away for a long time. Okay, and this one belongs to this. Okay, oh, she's giving me this look sideways. This one, okay, this is like an undergarment. Um, Again, it's been oof. okay. Somebody just did this. They love the safety pins, didn't they? I think they were easier to use rather than replacing everything with buttons because it takes time to do so. Okay. So here, oh my goodness, what's up here? She's wearing some kind of rubber diaper of some sort. Um, I mean diaper covers. Let me just have a look. I need to take this all off, okay? Uh, because I want to check if there's any marks on her body. But it's good that we've got some sort of tags attached to the clothes. I think all that clothes might have protected her for protected. years. Protected. Mm -hmm. That's that's uh, uh, yeah, definitely. That's what happened. Definitely. Okay. So. Oh dear, dear, some rust almost stuck to this. Just like a rubber. Oops. So she doesn't have um, uh, bloomers uh, to come with this dress, but I've got some antique bloomers. Oh dear. Somebody wrote something on it. Looks a little bit gross. <laughs> anyway, here she is. There we go. That gorgeous look. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. Um, she's got a little bit of a crackling in here around her mouth, okay? The teeth are intact, for what I can see. It's got a little, just, but that can be very easily fixed. Um, that's no problem. Yeah, it's all composition doll. Um, see if she's signed. Yes, maybe. she is signed, but. Again, it's signed, maybe maybe somebody just signed all the dolls because it came from the same um, place. Um, I mean, I'm looking at the stamps and things. Um, has she got signed there? Yes. Oh, okay. Horseman doll. Okay, so we've, got, so we've got two horsemen. The very first one that I shown and this one. Wow. And this is somebody like put stamp in here and um, the same writing as on the other dolls. Some writing on the back. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, that's the same. The same stamp. The stamp Somebody yes. stamped mm -hmm, them all. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And she's got like a shelf sitter, swing legs. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. I mean, look at this, intact, fantastic. Oh my goodness! Wow. I'm gonna put her maybe here because now what I'm gonna take from the box what I can see. It's the biggest doll of all that I've got today. Come on, sit here, honey. Okay. Sit here. I'm gonna just reach now in here. Oh my, my. Oh, big one. Oh, that's a beautiful baby. Okay. Here it is. Oh, she's gorgeous. <laughs> beautiful. Oh my goodness. Massive. I'm gonna undress her. She's almost laughing at us. Isn't she? Oh, gorgeous girl. This one I'm gonna move a little bit there. She's very big. She needs a bit of space on this table. Now she's in a, I would say, uh, the poorest condition of those dolls, but she's absolutely adorable. And she's got some layer of clothes. You see, this is the chipping, I mean, crackling of the paint composition, but um, the composition, composition is okay. It's just the paint on top of composition that's crackling. Uh, fingers are intact. Beautiful. 
I'm just gonna undress her quickly. I mean, see what's underneath. Is there any markings on it? No idea. This is the first time I'm dealing with this doll right now. Oh, come on, honey. She's got sleepy eyes. I think they are thin ones. She's heavy. Oh, she's heavy. She's very heavy. Okay, come on. We've got one piece off. And this is some sort of, um, I don't know, little top, blouse, whatever. I don't think it came with this doll. Uh, it's, it's old. It's very, very old. And mm, it doesn't smell uh, like fresh. <laughs> now this is like, wow. A nylon almost this uh, dress oh it's all stained but uh, I don't mind it's just it's got layers and layers and layers of clothing in here come on honey we're gonna undress you here she's got some buttons um, okay those are um, they feel like mother of pearl or maybe uh, ceramic battles let me just see ceramic Glass ceramic ba uh, ceramic um, uh, buttons. Those are definitely. There's three of them at the, at, the, at the back. Take them off like this. Oh, there's a label, and of course, you see this? It's like everything's collapsing. There. She needs restuffing too. So I'm gonna gently just uh, move this back down. She needs some work done, but I can already see the potential. I can already see that this doll is going to be something really, really cracking to look at when she's finished with. Yes, definitely. So, doll like that is always very welcome with me. I love um, composition baby dolls. Those are my favorite ones. And of course, I don't get them very often. Uh, so, this doll is like... Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Okay, this is off, this is off. What I'm going to do, this is, belongs to this doll. I just want to keep the clothes together. Which doll? Okay, this one. The dress is nice, very nice. It's got buttons, needs to be washed. It's got stains, browning, uh, some, some sort of uh, uh, something was spilled, and age browning too, to it. So what I'm gonna do? They, they don't belong. This doesn't belong to this doll. This is very loose, uh, like a little child's uh, vest. Somebody just put on underneath. I think people used to put whatever they had, like from their own babies, children, whatever would fit the doll. And there we go. That's coming off nicely. Stains again, stains, and we're gonna look at her legs because I'm dying to know what conditions they are in. Okay, this is browning and all that, very old, so I have to do something with it. And this is like a hmm, yeah, it's a plastic uh, lining um, diaper cover, like rubber pants, so rubber pants, baby yes, with, diaper yes, pants. very nice too, but. All these clothes, they don't belong together. Those are just random pieces of... Um, I do the legs on the very, very end. If I can. <laughs> oh, yes. Look. We got these uh, metal clasps right at the bottom. So now I can easily slide this down. I have to be careful because it's a delicate uh, condition this doll is. Um, again, needs to be worked on. I need to put some stuffing in here. This is all empty cloth. And now let's see her legs. The legs. Somebody just put socks on her. But oh my god. Oh my god. Look at this. Look at this. Beautiful fat legs. Oh my goodness. Look at those feet. Oh my goodness. And beautiful too, the condition. There's no damage to it. Oh my goodness. Let's see this one. So somebody actually did a great job covering it up. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at that. Oh my goodness. Look at those legs. And they fat. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh my. Oh my, my. 
Let me sit down this baby, okay? Oh, look at that. Beautiful, isn't it? Needs to be restuffed. Um, I don't know if I could clean this. I wouldn't even dare to probably uh, take this apart. I don't know. I'm not that adventurous um, uh, at this very moment. I'm learning, but uh, I don't want to spoil the doll. The arms are attached to the fabric. The head is also attached to uh, by the neck to, the, to that fabric. Uh, she's got a stuffed body. Now, if I put her on the belly, first of all, before I put on the belly, let's examine her little sweet face. She's got teeth and she's laughing. Um, I think those eyes look like um, they could be um, thin eyes. They need to be cleaned for me to determine. I don't think those are uh, um, like um, glass eyes. They don't look like. She's old. Oh my god. She's got some sort of tags attached to her. Okay. She's got some crackling on the arms. Um, let me just see. Whoops. I don't know if this is upside down. How much they paid. Let me see the other tag. The other tag. Okay. I mean, this is like from the 70s. They, 1972. Mm -hmm. So they bought it in 1972 and how much they paid. And um, this is 1931, it says here. Horseman. Oh my goodness. It says Horseman, so 1931 Sears. Okay. Okay, I don't know. I mean, it must be. Sorry, and this is another. Let me look at the Baby, what does it say? Baby dimples. Oh my goodness. 25 inch. So this is baby dimples. I didn't recognize it. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I thought so there was something familiar about it. I mean, yes. The laughter, you know, the, the mm -hmm. face. So this is the baby dimples from 1931. I oh. tried to see if it was uh, oh, signed on laughing. the neck, but um, yes. it probably is. I'm sorry, yeah, let me but just... But it might be difficult to see. Let me just see if it says horseman on the neck. Difficult to tell. She's got I, I do see something mm -hmm. written there. But. She's got lots of crackling. I mean, the light is not the best right in here. There's something written there, but... My goodness, so that's baby Bill dimples. Yes, look at the face. She's dirty. I didn't recognize that it could be the baby dimples. Mm -hmm. Wow. From 1931, 25 inches. But the condition, as I said, it needs a little bit of work done. Um, there's no damage to this doll, really. It's all cosmetic, and the face is lovely. Oh, my goodness, baby dimples. Look at this. Amazing, amazing. The arms, okay, they got um, uh, crackling of the paint on top of the composition. Uh, the cloth body obviously needs to be, needs some stuffing. She needs cleaning. Depends how it's going to come up. You know, I can put tiny, tiny, delicate touches on her lips for the, uh, for the color. Wonderful. Oh, my goodness. Isn't that wonderful? So pleased. Ah. Uh, Totally pleased. I don't know how else to express my joy today, but um, lots of work ahead to do because I just got a few days ago another box of dolls, so now I've got like um, several, several dolls in the queue, what I'm going to do with them, and I want to clean them up and I want to restore them the, the best I can. Uh, love them all. <laughs> um, very, very happy today. So. Um, Thank you for watching again, and if you like the video, uh, please uh, leave thumb up and uh, leave your comments or whatever, and uh, see you again.